A federal judge on Tuesday sentenced a Massachusetts Air National Guard member to 15 years in prison after he pleaded guilty to leaking highly classified military documents about the war in Ukraine. Jack Teixeira pleaded guilty earlier this year to six counts of willful retention and transmission of national defense information under the Espionage Act following his arrest in the most consequential national security case in years. Brought into court wearing an orange jumpsuit, he showed no visible reaction as he was sentenced by U.S. District Judge Indira Talwani. Before being sentenced, he apologized for his actions. The security breach raised alarm over America's ability to protect its most closely guarded secrets and forced the Biden administration to scramble to try to contain the diplomatic and military fallout. The leaks embarrassed the Pentagon which tightened controls to safeguard classified information and disciplined members found to have intentionally failed to take required action about Teixeira's suspicious behavior. Acting U.S. Attorney Joshua Levy, speaking at a post-sentencing news conference, said Teixeira has paid a very heavy price for the laws he broke and the damage he caused. He added that Teixeira violated his position of trust and repeatedly made the deliberate choice to divulge classified information week after week. He was callous to the fact that he put our national security at risk, Levy added, warning the sentence stands as a deterrent to any who might think of leaking national secrets. Anyone who willfully threatens national security by illegally disseminating classified information will face serious repercussions, he said. Teixeira, who was part of the 102nd Intelligence Wing at Otis Air National Guard Base in Massachusetts, worked as a cyber transport system specialist, which is essentially an information technology specialist responsible for military communications networks. He remains in the Air National Guard in an unpaid status, an Air Force official said. Authorities said he first typed out classified documents he accessed and then began sharing photographs of files that bore secret and top-secret markings. Prosecutors also said he tried to cover his tracks before his arrest, and authorities found a smashed tablet, laptop and an Xbox gaming console in a dumpster at his house. The leak exposed to the world unvarnished secret assessments of Russia's war in Ukraine, including information about troop movements in Ukraine, and the provision of supplies and equipment to Ukrainian troops. Teixeira also admitted posting information about a U.S. adversary's plans to harm U.S. forces serving overseas. This is an important day for our country, for our armed services, for our intelligence community. Today, Jack Teixeira was sentenced to 15 years in federal prison for violating the oath every one of us in public service takes to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Jack Teixeira abused his position of trust and he exploited his top secret clearance to access hundreds of classified top secret information and then share them on Discord, a social media gaming platform that reaches over 150 million people across the globe. Jack DeShera made the deliberate choice day after day, week after week for over a year to share the nation's secrets that were entrusted to him and make them available to all comers. He was callous to the fact that he put our national security at risk, that he damaged our relationships with our allies, and he put the men and women who serve in the armed services overseas and in the intelligence community at personal risk to their safety. He leaked information that the government had determined could reasonably likely to cause exceptionally grave damage to the United States. It included information about troop movements in the Ukrainian theater, about provision of supplies to troops. It included information about a plot to kill Americans serving overseas by a foreign adversary. This conduct caused immediate operational damage and long-term enduring damage to our relationships with our allies, 
to our ability to gather information by revealing intelligence um, gathering methods and through other consequences. We won't know the full extent of Jack Teixeira's damage for several years. Today, Mr. Teixeira has paid a very heavy price for the laws he broke and for the incredible damage that he caused. This significant sentence sends a powerful message to every individual who holds a top secret clearance. Anyone who willfully threatens our national security by illegally disseminating classified information will face very serious repercussions. I expect that starting tomorrow, Jack Teixeira's name will be mentioned when people are trained about the gravity of a top secret clearance and the consequences if you leak information. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met on Monday with the European Union's foreign policy chief, Josep Borrell, and Estonia's defense minister, Hanno Pevker, in Kiev. He thanked both for their support throughout his country's fight against the Russian invasion. We have to count on unity in Europe, Zelensky said during his meeting with Pevker. Especially today, when we don't know what circumstances will be in the nearest future. The meetings come as Russian glide bombs, drones and a ballistic missile smashed into cities in southern and eastern Ukraine on Monday, officials said, killing at least six civilians and injuring about 30 others. Zelensky noted that Burrell had to be taken to a shelter before their meeting. Ukrainian forces are being slowly pushed backward in the eastern Donetsk region, where Russia is bringing its greater military might to bear. Zelensky said on Monday that Ukraine would conduct a substantial reinforcement in areas near the Donetsk settlements of Kurakov and Pokrovsk, where Ukraine's army is in danger of being overrun. He added that Ukraine is holding its positions in Russia's Kursk border region, where Western and Ukrainian officials say Russia is being helped by thousands of newly arrived North Korean troops. For us, it's a privilege to, to see you again and again. Thank you that during this war, you've always been 100% totally on our side, on the side of Ukrainian people. Um, you don't need any details about this war because you've been during the challenging days, very difficult days, tough moments. Today you've been in the shoulder shelter as i understood yes so you know everything about the war. we are thankful for your position Please. we are very thankful to your team and your country and your people for huge support from the very beginning of the war and uh especially today when the we don't know what circumstances will um, will be in this in, in the nearest future, but we have to count on unity in Europe.